Good morning everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome back. If you're not new, my name is Libby. I today decided it would be fun with just after such a good dietitian appointment this last week and really just her affirming like how well I've grown and done since going into treatment more than a year ago that I just really felt it was a it would be fun to kind of do a vlog with me what I eat in a day eating disorder recovery dietitian approved day um so let's get started I am going to go get ready for the day <laughs> So I am ready now. Got some light makeup on and my hair a little done. And got dressed. Um, as I said, hi. Um, I always start the day by taking my morning med and drinking a glass of water because hydration. And, and you know what helps with UTI prevention, kidney stone prevention, um, clear skin, energy, and I used to have like six glasses a day in treatment, so I'm just used to a lot of water. So I try to drink about a glass before breakfast just to kind of get a little bit in, kind of get some hydration going. Also, I must ask you a question. Have you subscribed or hit the like button? If not, do so now. Hey everyone, so I drank my water, went for a walk, sorry Blake's working, went for a little walk, morning walk, and now I'm going to make breakfast. I'm going to actually, normally on the weekends, because it's a Saturday, normally on the weekends I would have like a bowl of cereal, but I'm switching it up because I'm a little more hungry, and just have a lot of stuff to do around the house and need some muscle stuff and, you know, wanted this because I... This is a new recipe that I'm obsessed with. So, I'm going to make oatmeal. And not just instant oats, but oats from a canister. Which is something I've never done before in my life until this last week. Because of my eating disorder. And then I'm going to make protein oatmeal. This is actually one I stole from Stephanie Buttermore on YouTube. Um, it is the PE Science Select Cake Pop. It is um, not vegan friendly. They do, PE Science does have a handful of vegan friendly ones, um, but I'm just a vegetarian, so this is fine for me and it's really good. So what I do is I'm going to cut up a banana, because honestly, bananas are my favorite fruit. And haters gonna hate if you think that bananas are gross. So, bye. And I also learned in treatment that you can just use your banana peel as a cutting board. I give Ezra two pieces of my banana every time just because he's a good boy. Um, and then, because I always top my oats with banana. Because um, one, they're good for fiber. I love them. And I need some fruit in my life because <laughs> why not so and then one thing i've been working on with my dietitian is uh protein because i'm a vegetarian so that's a big thing i'm doing a half cup of in of canister oats um old-fashioned whole grain oats um, half cup put it in my bowl and then I'm going to put a cup of water. And I 
put the cup of water in it and I'm going to mix it up. And then once I'm done mixing it up, I'm going to put it in the oven or microwave for about two minutes just to kind of see where it is at. So I put them in for about a minute and a half and I like it still running warm as there's steam coming off if you can't tell but i like them a little runny so that way the protein powder can mix in and pe science cake pop i got this from amazon it was about 35 dollars um and i'm just gonna take a nice scoop of it and just pour it in oh i forgot i like to take just a little off because i like to dust it dust my oatmeal with a little and bananas with a little protein powder. Um, I can't really mix it in because I'm spilling. Um, so no, I'm not just not having a full scoop of protein powder. I like to dust it, so I'm gonna mix it in as you can tell. So, normally I have like a, I like to make this at work because um, it really helps, sorry for as a whining, really helps kind of give me some good protein and strength for the whole morning while helping dealing with patients because I work at the hospital and in patient care. And then after I mix it in quite well, I like to make sure I mix it for a couple of minutes just so that way it really mixes it in. Or else you just don't get the full taste and it tastes so good. Okay, and then I add the banana, just throw it on top. And then dust it with the rest of my protein powder. And there you go. I realized I forgot to, you know, actually taste in front of me before I go sit down and do some stuff while eating it. Mmm. It really tastes like cake batter ice cream from Cold Stone, except for an oatmeal form. Mmm. So, so good. Mmm. Also, this is my first time actually using protein powder, like buying some and actually using it because my eating disorder has been so fearful of protein powder. I'm going to make fear food, and that was one of my goals, and I'm my dietitian, and I did it. Mm -hmm. three hours later it's about 12 30 um so it's lunchtime, and i did some laundry worked on my other youtube video that i posted i worked on another project that i have going on um just some emails so now i'm gonna have lunch i'm gonna spray the pan because i'm going to have these are very delicious. They are sweet potato cauliflower bites. I got, I found them at Walmart. Um, they're from Green Giant Veggie Tots. Um, sweet potato and cauliflower. Um, they're very good. Um, they look just like little tater tot nuggets, but sweet potato and cauliflower. Um, so I like to have lemons get a nice handful as you can see um, and then I'm gonna put them in the oven and then when I get a little bit later I'm gonna add it my leftover um, pigs in a blanket um, the crescent roll is a Pillsbury Doughboy crescent roll eight count from Walmart I got and the hot dog is a veggie dog from Morningstar, a veggie dog. And then I'm also going to dip them in ranch because we love ranch. Um, so I'm going to put these in the oven to bake before adding this because it's already like cooked. It just needs warmed up, but these need to be cooked. So, so I got my 
pigs in a blanket and my sweet potato cauliflower bites. I'm gonna put on my plate. And then Ooh, they're definitely hot. And then I'm going to take a little container and my ranch. And ranch it up. Nice little help on a ranch. And then you can see my veggie tots and my ranch and corn dog. So this is what the looks like. Mmm. Ranch? Nothing like some trashy yummy ranch. Mmm. And even dipping. My pig is in a blanket. Mmm. Mmm, so good. Mm. So it's snack time a few hours later, my first of two snacks I have for the day. Um, and I'm going to have these protein balls I made. Um, you can tell, um, they, I will link the recipes from Pinterest. This is the third batch I've ever made and I tried recipes, three different recipes all different times. And this is my favorite so far. It has peanut butter, oats, protein powder, I use the K-pop piece. The science list K-pop that I showed you earlier, chocolate chip, makeup chips, some um, few other things. I'll link the recipe down below. Like I said, it's on Pinterest. Very yummy. Um, let me take one out. I normally have three. Um, that's what they look like. Mm. Mm. You can. You can taste the peanut butter. Mmm, very creamy. I love chocolate though. For dinner, it's 6.40. We are having grilled out. That's a big potato. You can't see the steam, but there's a little bit of steam coming off. This is a buffalo chicken pat, ready chicken patty for morning star. And I'm going to put a piece of bell gas. I don't even want to say that. Bell gyozio par provolone on it. I put a little bit on my potato too. Protein ready muffin. It's the chocolate and peanut butter. As I really want it. 
Um, so you just add one fourth cup of water and then you mix it up and microwave it for 30 seconds. These are a good source of protein that I've been trying to work on. So I like these before bed. They're one of my favorite snacks. And the peanut butter and chocolate are my favorite. I love both of those. So, so this is what it looks like done. It's a little tiny muffin. You can see like the peanut butter little pieces in it. Really good. Mm. This is my nighttime snack. I always have a nighttime one. So I'll tie me over till breakfast in the morning. So I'm gonna go eat this so show my fiance and go to bed. Thank you all for watching. Love you all. Subscribe. Thank you.